is up, everyone. Whoa. Yep, that project's still going on. So let's give you guys an update. I know, I know, we've left you guys hanging for a little while, and I promise we will let you know what's been going on. But first, we gotta go run an errand. All right, so where did we leave off last time? I'm pretty sure you had just picked up the engineer drawings. <laughs> we got them! And a lot's happened since then. Yeah. So we have two big projects. Hold on, seat belts first. Oh yeah. Safety first. I'm bad at that. So since then, We've had a mixture of continuous delays and some progress. So last time we were together, you saw me hand in the permit with the engineer drawn structural plans. And after we handed those in, we learned that no, 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 no. The structural engineer drawings were not enough. We needed architectural drawings. So we had to reach out to a local architect and have him basically do the same thing yeah. that the structural engineer did. Luckily, he could turn that out around pretty quickly because the plans he drew were a limited version and then he just referred to structural engineer drawings. So the turnaround on that wasn't too bad, it was about two weeks. But it was like another $1,600 for these modified plans. We submitted that permit and after like a week and a half of review, they yeah. finally approved it. So that was a very exciting day. So the update with sort of like this porch renovation is that it is progressing. Once we got those permits, the team got to work and they've honestly been like rocking and rolling. Yep. They did the dig for the new footings. Then we had to wait for the footing inspection. Then they started the framing. Then we had to wait for the framing inspection. They all passed and they're now in the process of putting the decking on. Yeah, so as you guys can see here, like a lot of progress has been made. The deck's looking so good. And once this gets to a functional point, We'll have our appraiser back out and we'll finally be able to close on the cash out refinance because that's where a lot of the big stress has been. Thanks to all of these delays, we actually lost out on our rate lock. We were locked in at 4.5. And as you guys know, there have been some rate increases since then. And we fortunately were able to lock in at 5.5 on the Friday before the feds bumped it up to like 7.5. So, I mean, a little bit of bad news, a little bit of good news in there. So we're here at Home Depot because we ran out of the square nosed end deck board. So we got to pick up like nine more pieces. I lost Lauren. I'm looking for a particular landscaping tool. So this is what it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> As a landlord, I feel like we always need a hedge trimmer and we do have landscaping companies that do lawn maintenance. Tom but to the service desk, Tom to the service desk. Tom to the service desk. But I feel like we always need a hedge trimmer for just like quick fixes that I don't feel like calling a company out for. So we have an 18 volt battery if you want to get one of them. One of these. And you don't have to deal with cords, yeah. You're telling me you can't be cheap and get the $49 corded one. Life expectancy, one use. <laughs> <laughs> but then you gotta plug a cord in every right, single time. You're right, all right. And we already have battery, so this is probably just tool only. All right, should I do Ryobi or DeWalt though? Or like a no, do, Makita or where, Milwaukee? Do they have DeWalt? Because obviously we have endless DeWalt batteries, which is the same price as the Ryobi. And I have more chargers and more batteries for a DeWalt. For a DeWalt. Okay. Get it? Get it. And because we're Home Depot loyal, free snack. On the Pro? On the Pro. $3 free snack. Yep, boy. Okay, run. <laughs> Cheez-Its for the Cheez-It pocket. <laughs> Any uh, old OGs that get that reference? If this isn't a clue of where we've been the last month. <laughs> Cooler, putt putt, camp chairs, golf club. We've been working on our metal Yeah, so the porch is underway. The tenants moved in. They're overall seemingly happy. We have been discounting their rent until the remainder of the project because they've 
have been <laughs> inconvenienced in the way that they have to access their new home. All is hopefully well. Next stop, PC Richards. <laughs> I just want to pay our remaining balance on an appliance delivery. Perfect. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. You too. So those appliances were for our duplex that we're burring. Originally, we weren't going to get a new washer dryer, but then when we had the kitchen appliances delivered, we realized the washer dryer were in not good condition and we're not slumlords. So, New washer dryer it is. And a quick update on that duplex. The interior is basically done. I am now sending him choices for the exterior, which is gonna be paint, deck paint. So the front porch got reframed up because it was in really rough shape. The back deck was in great shape. It just needed a power wash and they're gonna paint it. They're gonna be adding a fenced in yard, which we know adds value for the appraisal. And the foundation of that front porch, and I forgot to mention this, it's getting knocked out and we're basically just gonna put some lattice up. It'll clean it up really nice and it's a really cheap option. Cause it's not really the foundation, it's a cosmetic concrete yeah. thing. It's not the it's not, it's the, not footings. the footings that was cracked, you know what I'm saying? But overall this project's going really well. We actually also just had a new comp cell, which we think is gonna jack up our ARV, which we're so excited about because originally we thought this property was gonna be like just like a nice base hit. It wasn't gonna be a perfect burrow, we we're gonna have to leave some money in it, but it was gonna cash flow and it was gonna add to our portfolio. But now with this new ARV, we might be able to do a perfect burr. We'll share with you guys all the numbers if that's the case. We'll share all the numbers regardless, but if it's a perfect burr, you know you're gonna we're gonna let you know. And next time we're there, we'll give you guys a full walkthrough. Fortunately, we don't go there very often because we've been very hands-off because we hired a GC. So it's an interesting lifestyle that we're not so used to, but we're kind of liking it. It's nice because during the period of time that we're not there, a lot gets done. So every time we go, it's like this major transformation. It's pretty awesome. All right, so where have we been? Ah. It's not like super exciting. So last couple months, I would say the last like six months, have just been a little bit more difficult. And it's been like unenjoyably difficult where like we've, We've had rough patches before where, not us relationship wise, but like through real estate and investing where it's like f still fun and exciting and we could just like put our heads down and power through. This was like beat down, really unmotivatingly hard times. And what we're alluding to is like the setbacks with the porch, um, just some issues we had with some other properties, a deal we're working on. We had a lot of things go against us in a very short period of time, which was like, we, I remember sitting, we're sitting here and it's like, can we just get a win like somewhere along, like soon please? <laughs> and then it was like a perfect storm of all of these real estate stresses, meeting, our full-time jobs just being like very demanding, plus some personal things we got going on. And it was just like, there's no, there's no like one big event or one big thing or one big setback. It's just been like a compilation yeah. of all of these things over like one after the other. And it just got to a point where we were like, I think we just need to like take a break. And like doing YouTube, we did a video every week for like 60 plus weeks. Yeah. And I think this is just like a classic case of the burnout. Yeah one of those things or two of those things would be okay two of those struggles but like yeah the fact that it was all compiled and then our schedule was so packed with w2 work and then a lot of stuff that we were doing with real estate it was our tiredness along with the frustrations that just like lauren and i both just looked at each other one day it was starting to get really nice out and we were like let's just go to the beach let's not worry about putting a video out this sunday and it was like okay that sounds nice and so for the past month, we've been, I mean, obviously still like pushing along with some real estate projects and dealing with some other things we have going on, but we've been down the shore and we've been swimming in the ocean and eating nice seafood and- 
playing pickleball. Playing pickleball and spending time with our family and seeing our friends. And it's just been really nice to say, hey, do you want to do this? And normally we would say yes, but after yeah. filming a video, editing a video, X, Y, Z. And so now it's just been yes, and then we do it. And it kind of reminds me of like why we got into real estate investing was to make our time available to go spend with friends and family. And yeah, that's like, what we did. We got back to like the roots of when we first started. Well, because I think there was a disconnect. We're doing this thing to build this portfolio, to live this lifestyle. And obviously we understand they need to grind it out and work really hard to build that foundation so that you can reap the rewards in the future. But if we're not enjoying the journey and enjoying the Correct. ride and prioritizing health, family and fun now, like what are we doing? So please take away from what we're trying to get at here is enjoy the journey of real estate investing because it's like at its bare bones is awesome. It really is so fun and I think that's why we did take a step back recently because we just after five years got to the point where it was like, eh, this isn't as fun as I remember it being. And I, I, <laughs> I would hate for us to get to a point where we don't enjoy doing it. I just think we overload ourselves a lot of the time and sometimes we have to step back and We start said to yes to things. a lot of things. That, and that's what we were doing. We were saying yes to everything. We've missed you guys. We've seen the comments. We've you know gotten the DMs. Thank you so much for reaching out and we checking in on alive. us. We are still alive. We're still alive. We're here. We're happy. We're still together. And if you guys follow us on Instagram, we have been like posting stories and yeah. giving, giving a little bit more love to Instagram. It's just a lighter lift than the YouTube videos are. We're back with you for the time being. And uh, I, think I don't know if we can commit to weekly videos every Sunday, but at we- At least till the fall. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's too warm out, too nice out to be, to be filming and editing videos. I mean, you folks should know this. We said we were beach people. <laughs> so I don't know, like maybe we'll do seasons where, you know, we put out 10 videos and then we take a month off, or yeah. maybe we just put out videos whenever we have something interesting to say. Let us know, like schedule-wise, like if you are cool with seeing when we are able to post or seasons or, you know, throw some ideas out there. I mean, maybe we got something that we like down there and in the comment section and follow it. Yeah. So like, subscribe, you guys know the drill. And we'll see you guys on the next one.